Hey guys, what's up? So you're checking out the Pure Delusion YouTube channel, and today I want to do like a how-to video of the website BidFTA.com or Fast Track Auctions. So this website is pretty poorly designed, but the summary of it is it's a website where you can go on here and buy items, and it's like an auction format. So most of these items are returns from Amazon, Target, Walmart, stuff like that. So you kind of you kind of know what you're going to get, but you kind of don't. So first things first, so you're going to want to register if you're not registered. So you just click on any auction, really. Um, you're going to click register to bid. And then you go down here. You can read all this. But basically the whole thing is you have to pick it up. You're paying with your credit card or debit card. You fill out this information. And they're going to email you and confirm. And they're going to give you a bidder number. So you create a they they give you a bidder number you create your password. So this website is really bad, but anyway. So what you'll notice is you really need to filter these. So I think this list view is kind of the easiest way to look at it, but um when you filter it you can do like um certain cities if you're not I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, which um, their main supplier is Amazon, so they, they get mostly Amazon returns. I think they get them for like 30 cents on the dollar. So um, it's all over the country, though, different different states. So anyway, I'm going to choose um, Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm going to search. So these are all the auctions in Cincinnati. So unfortunately, uh, I don't know why their website does this, but a lot of the auctions at the top are always expired. So, you have to find an auction that's still going on. So, these are all expired. So, this one it is almost 11 a.m. my time. So, let's click on this one, 11.45. So, the thing you're going to want to look at is, so the address, so it's Broadwell Road. Um, you have to look at their hours. So, you have to go pick these items up. They, they'll, they'll ship them to you, but they're going to charge you like $80. It's, it's insane. So you have to go pick them up. So removal is the pickup time. So removal, you have to pick this up on April 20th to 21st from 1 to 7 p.m. Now a lot of these warehouses that they have in Cincinnati, they are, their hours are terrible. And you can only pick them up between like daytime hours. So it's really tough for working people to get there. But um, this warehouse is nice because it's open until 7 p.m. So what you want to do is you click view items and bid. You always want to pay attention to the uh, additional info, which is like the condition. So these right here, so this looks like, you know, just a bunch of miscellaneous items. This looks kind of like a, maybe a target return. But anyway, the first thing we have here is like some pool equipment, some pool chairs. So it says, it appears new, and you're going to get three of them, but they're small rips. So, usually on a Piers new items, they'll let you, if you get to the warehouse and you look at them and they're like, there's something wrong with them, they'll let you return them, but I doubt it on these since it's already on here. So my experience with this website has been um, hit or miss, really. I've had some good experience, had some bad experiences. So like, let's click on this thing. So let's say I buy this and, and it says appears new. Now the box looks unopened and that's, there's been plenty of times where I've bought new items and I didn't look at it and I just took it home. And I get home and let's say like one of these pieces are missing. Now if you if you point that out in the warehouse, they'll give you the refund. But if you come back after you left and say, hey, this was not, all the pieces were not in here, they won't give you a refund. So basically you have to pay real attention to that. So anyway, uh, other conditions that I, they have here are like open box. So like this item, it's a hose. Open box means that this item could be used. So look at the condition of this item. If you can like look in there, it looks dirty, very dirty. So it looks like somebody may have used this. And even if the item is in terrible condition, you can't get a return on it because it says open box. So if let's say you get there and you look at this hose and there's a rip in it and you say, I want my money back. Well, they won't give it to you. They only give refunds on appears new items. Um, then of course there's always like damaged items, but if I were you, I would try to find the appears new items. 
So let's find an item we want to bid on. Um, what's this? Little girl's polish set. Okay. Appears new. So what you're going to do here is you're going to, down at the bottom, you're going to put in your bidder number. So that's my bidder number, 142899. Then you have to put in your password. So you're going to put in your bid. So let's say um, uh, you usually start at a penny. And then you can put in a maximum bid. So let's say like 10 cents is my max. So like any auction site, you know, the sooner, the longer you wait, like let's say there's a minute left in the auction you bid, that's the higher likely you're going to get that auction. So all you have to do is you do that. Then you, you put in your bidder number. You put in your password. Submit bids. You have to check these boxes here saying you're going to come, you're going to get, you know, you're going to go pick them up and stuff. Continue. And it says you have to hit submit bids again. So now high bidder, that's me, that's my bidder number. That's pretty much it. So like I've said before, I would definitely recommend only buying a Piers new items. Um, it's extremely difficult once you get to the warehouse to find the items. Um, it's very frustrating. I've had times where I couldn't find items and they've kind of just blown me off and made me sound like an idiot. So don't expect very good customer service with this company. It's, uh, it's extremely poor, actually. If you're in the Cincinnati area, I would recommend the Newport, Kentucky location. That's the best location I've been to. The worst location is the Seymour one. The Seymour one is like a, um, I don't want to pardon my language, but it's pretty much a shithole. Uh, there's just, it looks like an episode of Hoarders when you walk in. Uh, don't expect anyone really to help you find these items. They make it sound like you, you show up and that people go get your items for you. Well, that's usually not the case. So, I hope this video helps. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any more questions. Thanks a lot for watching.